Hi guys, this is a message for the sign of Sagittarius or Sagittarius cross watcher. I was meditating on your energy and I went ahead and wrote it down. I got a lot. Okay, so the first thing I heard was they're getting out of something. If this is not another person, this is you. Someone is getting out of something, whatever that means. They could be getting out of probation, getting out of jail, getting out of hawk. They could be getting out of a connection relationship, getting out of some sort of contract, getting out of a sticky situation. Whatever it is, it's like downhill from here. It's better, right? Is that the saying? Downhill is better, right? Because uphill would be harder. If somebody's like, it's uphill from here, I mean, I would imagine. I'm not even going to look that one up because it just makes sense to me. Downhill. So downhill from here is someone's experience. If someone has just recently become single, you or another, they are like ready for a particular person. Like they want to hang out. They definitely want to hang out. Now maybe they're talking to other people. Could be rebounding. So be careful of that. Someone's rebounding here. They're definitely flirting and messaging and talking and hanging out with other people. Maybe even, you know, dipping it in the pond. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Someone's having fun because they're freely single, freely, newly single, and they're free, free balling. Someone could go commando. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, or if they're not doing that, being a little playa, girl or guy, they're just kind of, I don't know. If something is ending, just did, or will be in the near future, like a relationship someone's been in, or something, it's like they're finally out, they're finally free, they specifically want either you, or you, this is you, you want them. Like someone's going to reach out and be like, hey, how you doing, what are you doing? They may want to flirt, they may want to hang out and date a little bit. I'm not going to say they don't want to, I'm hearing screw. Ooh, I hate, I hate the word screw. I don't, it's so, I'm vulgar anyway, but screw just sounds nasty, don't it? Screw, something about a screwdriver and that's a drink. Someone's a little wild here. Maybe they're wanting to like, yeah, I'm single. I'm single. I'm going to hang out with the guys. I'm going to hang out with the guys. I'm going to drink. I'm going to go to the bar. You want to date? You want to go out to date? You want to go out to eat? You want to hang out? You want to go to the movies? You want to chill? Where do you live? You know, it's like somebody who's desperate, like, desperately. Like, you're the one they want to hang out with. Or, <laughs> or there's somebody on your mind that you want to hang out with, a particular individual. My problem with all of this, though, is it seems like this person's jumping rather quickly. Like, they, they kind of need to, like, sit with everything that just went on or everything that's going on or about to go on. They need a moment, you know? They could even be trying to do things in a way to make the other person mad. Or maybe they don't want to wave it or rub it in someone's face. Like maybe they're not posting them going out and hanging out with other people. But maybe inwardly they feel good about it. Like, like you know, first person they sleep with after they get a divorce or something like that. You know, like they feel inwardly like proud or the first person they get to finally openly flirt with. And it's not cheating. <laughs> you know, if someone's being a little buck wild, they're buck wild. I'm also hearing Buckeyes or Bucky's. Bucky's is a gas station. Something to do with traveling here. Something to do with taking a trip, traveling, road trip, being in the car. Could meet on a trip or something to do with vacation, taking a trip, or vacation days. Could also just feel like a vacation to someone because they're finally released from another. Or if someone's not getting out of something, maybe someone is in a relationship and someone they're with is going on vacation or they are for like business and they're like, oh, finally out of there. You know, I'm so happy because now they kind of want to play a little bit or flirt a little bit. Like it feels good to not have someone around them all the time anymore or at least for now. Or this is you. Someone's either getting a permanent break from an individual or they're taking a little bit of a break, a little bit of vacation, you know. Maybe even people aren't breaking up yet, but they're kind of on a separation. So someone's like, oh, well, since we're not, you know, together, together, I kind of got a hall pass. So, like, if I do a little something, you know, or do a little something, somethings with a couple of different someones, <laughs> it's not necessarily cheating. Like, I see someone taking their ring off here. I really see somebody taking their ring off or they're not wearing it today. Something like that. I don't know about actually today, but the day they do this or the day they, they want to meet up with somebody, they're not going to be wearing their ring. 
if they even wear a ring to begin with. They may find reasons to not wear a ring. Maybe they say it's due to their work. It could be the truth partially, but also they didn't, you know, maybe they, they realized that one day, I don't know, maybe it made them look like they were possessed <laughs> or controlled by another. They were owned property of, and they didn't like that vibe or something. Hmm. I'm also hearing fiber. Fiber, it could also be like something to do with blood or needing more fiber, but isn't fiber or fiber? What is fiber? According to Wikipedia, dietary fiber or roughage. Not fiber, fiber. Fiverr is the world's largest marketplace for digital services where individuals or companies can go to find freelancers with a skill that suits their needs. I don't really get it, but it says it was um, from that in Israel. I'm getting like Jew Jewish here. Someone can also be Jewish, but this is a businessman. This is a businessman. This is a worker, hard worker. I do think this is probably someone who's very attractive. They're established. They're pretty, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not logical. Yeah, they're logical, but they're, they're very careful, meticulous. Um, Someone's also been watching you for a while, or you've been watching them. It's like, I get this, um, I don't know, it's the weirdest thing. I think someone's like, they knew always, if their relationship did not work out, or they finally got a break, or a separation ever, or they, I don't know, somebody ever went on a trip, that they would, they knew exactly who they would go after, who they want. They may even be getting attention from other people who they don't really want attention from, or you, but it's like, there's one person, someone's like, I would love to see them or see them again. I would love to talk to them. Yeah, like for real. You may even be, for some of you, you may even be, or they may even be the person that you always wanted to end up with. Or that you may have wondered, if we would have got together, what would have life been like? For some, that's not for everybody. Like maybe it's from like a long time ago for some of you. I'm telling you, some of you, this individual or you, someone here has been with somebody, I don't know how long, but they've been with somebody long enough that, like, they, I don't know what it is, they think about you. Maybe even who they're with knows you. Some of you, the person they're with or that they were with, they may already have ended it, or they did something, they know you. They may have even had little, just disagreements about you, may have had all out arguments about you. May have even been like, you could have been the person for some of you that always everybody like suspected all their husbands wanted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. You know, it's like you get a bad rep and it's not even who you are. People like wives and women. You can't even have like you, you prefer guy friends, but you can't even have them because either they want to F you or their wives or girlfriends can hate you for no reason because they know their men want to fuck you, even if you wouldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. There's like a group of guys here, I feel, buddies, who either, like, they all wanted to date you. Maybe even one of them did. I don't know. Some of you, this person could be like, if I were to reach out, Would you even be interested in me? They may think you're mad at them for some of them. Or you think they're mad at you. All in all, your whole message is like forbidden. It's like forbidden love. Or it was if somebody's single now. But it's like, okay. Oh my God. I just got another image. Some of you, however this fits, I'm just going to say it like this. Because I don't want to keep having to reverse it. You'll know which way it goes for you. Just put it how it works for you. Somebody here was with somebody or is and it's ending now, or they know it's on the rocks, it's going to end, right? And if it ain't ending, they're like, you know, they may even threaten their partner, well, leave me then, divorce me, man or woman, you know, fine, go find someone else. And it's like, okay, then you keep telling me that enough, I'm going to do it. And anyway, someone here, if it's already ended, or if someone knows it's going to end, the, the partner that knows they're being left, 
automatically assumes that their person is going to go to you first, that they want you. Like if this person were to become single, they would want you because of how all the other men have wanted you. Damn. I literally heard it just like that because of how all the other men have wanted you. Like people, you just, they flock to you. You attract, you attract a lot of people. Okay. Whoever's watching here or they do, somebody attracts a lot of people, good and bad, you know, not, <laughs> but, and, and then like whoever their partner is, was whatever they do not like it because they know their partner is attracted to the other and they assume like, I know exactly where you'd go. Maybe they always thought that their partner liked this person. This person could be you, vice versa. It's like maybe they always thought that their partner liked this person because maybe they saw their name under searched on Facebook or Google or something. Maybe they saw that this person's number in their contacts or that they still kept their messages or I don't know. There was something here like maybe they had an image of them on their phone or some sort of screenshot or they kept something or they have something or they're just like, why are you entertaining this? Why are you even interested? You know, maybe someone had to play it off like, oh, I don't care. But it's like, obviously you do, or you wouldn't be like wondering what they're posting or wondering what they're doing. It's something like that, guys. And so it always kind of put a little seed in their partner's head that their person would cheat on them with you or vice versa. Or would go to you or vice versa as soon as the relationship were to end. Or if they ever had like a break or a separation. And I'm going to leave it there. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.